Boxing Mind TV on with another one. Uh, like, subscribe, comment down below <clears throat> after the video or during the video. Um, let's get into it. But I just want to talk about uh, Charlo, Jamel Charlo versus uh, Austin Trout. The fight. The fight was, um, uh, how should I say? It was just, it was decent. I expected, I was expecting Charlo to knock out Austin Trout, you know, do something that his brother didn't do, you know, uh, but the fight became like a more of a a tactical fight, you know, you got to get credit to Austin Trout, I mean, it's what he does, you know, he makes it that type of fight all the time, even though Charlo did, you know, at times, I mean, Charlo came in and, um, you know, knocked him down twice, but he couldn't, he could not get him out of there, you know, you gotta get credit to Austin Trout being the veteran that he is, um, smothering, um, Charlo's attacks when Charlo was pressing the, pressing the issue, trying to knock him out when he would hit Austin Trout with a good shot, but nonetheless, you know, it wasn't something we, we, we were used to seeing Charlo, uh, in recently with the fights he's been in, um, it's been knockout. So when you been when you watch his fights, you're expecting a knockout. And uh, I think this is fifth fifth fight with uh, Derek James, his new trainer, since uh, since he left Ronnie Shields. And um, I think all his fights from until now to tonight was uh, was um, was knockouts. But nonetheless, you know, um, I'm still impressed with Charlo. He was able to, you know, keep his composure, um, you know, figure out how to still, you know, land his shots against Austin Trout, you know, land the more clean shots, power shots. His defense, um, his defense was still, you know, pretty solid. Um, uh, what else? Um, it was it was it was a decent fight. It was a decent fight, you know. I'm just glad he won, and. Um, he went twelve rounds, you know. He didn't. He didn't show no fatigue that I've saw that I seen. You know, defense was pretty good. So um, I'm just right now. I the what irritated me watching the fight uh, was the fans. You know, like the fight. The the fight just started, and you know, just because you know, it's like a. It's not. It's not a knockout yet, or it's only one or two rounds in, and. You got the fans already booing them already. Like, like, do fans appreciate you know technical fights anymore, man? Like, like these 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 fans like nobody appreciate like all aspects of boxing. Like, you know you gotta you gotta um you gotta you gotta you gotta like everything, man. You can't just be waiting for you know rocky or you know rock'em sock'em type fights like uh. Uh, Santa Cruz and Mares, um, uh, which was which was a good fight. I watched that too. I probably do another uh, do a reaction on that later. But you know, I appreciate that fights too. But you gotta appreciate the other fights too. You can't just quickly boo boo the fight, you know. And especially a guy like Charlo, that's been knocking people out. Like you know, be patient. He might get it out. He might still get the knockout that you want. You know what I mean? It's a boxing match at the end of the day. It's not. You know, a street fight. You know, you know, it's 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 time, it's timing, and and and, and it's a thinking man's game. Sometimes, you know, you know, get your shot the way you want it, land it the right way. You know, bait a man. It, you know, you get, you gotta appreciate all that. It's not just come in, boom, knockout. You know, it's not like that. You know, sometimes the fans just irritate me. You know, of why they always booing. <clears throat> because they don't get a, they don't get a knockout or they're not just not throwing crazy punches without thinking about defense, you know it's it's that that was irritating. You know what I'm saying? Like I just don't understand some of these fans or most of the fans, you know, casual fans, whatever. Um, but with that said, Charlo got the Charlo got the win. Charlo got the win, and um, time for Charlo to fight her. I uh her is gonna come forward so that's gonna be an exciting fight uh charlo's charlo's he's gonna come forward he'll want to back down but only thing 
the only thing her gonna have to uh, uh, worry about is Charlo's power. You know, that's gonna be somebody's gonna get somebody's gonna back down. You know, for them punches. You know, um, Charlo. I think he's a strong. He's a strong puncher. You know, at times I think Austin Trout try to push him to the uh, get him on the ropes, and uh, Charlo would catch him with a with a a a, a, a short shot. And <laughs> I think it one of the rounds the uh, Austin Trout was on uh, had Charlo on the ropes, and uh, Charlo caught him with a, 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 a short shot, and his head went went <laughs> between the ropes, and then Charlo hit him with another shot before the referees you know broke him broke him apart. But man, I'm just when I seen that shot, I'm like I thought he knocked him out or you know was going to knock him out from there, man. Charlo is Charlo is a strong, is a strong fighter, man. A strong fighter. I don't think her is gonna be walking, walking down, uh, Charlo like this. But you know, we'll have to have to see. He might still do it, you know, you know. Um, but you know that would be a exciting fight because her, her is gonna throw punches, and uh, you already know Charlo is gonna try to knock his head off. So, um, and that could be a good fight. So you know, bring on, bring on her. You know, let that fight happen. Let let them unify by the end of the year. Like, her doesn't need to fight Kell Brook or anything. I know he was talking about he needed a a tune up before he fight Charlo because he's been fighting left handed fighters or whatever. But man, make the fight, man. It's like you know, usually usually fighters say that when they um when they have to fight a left handed fighter because you know you don't you don't find left handed fighters like that. You don't fight him like that, so you know you find a right hand to fight it. You don't need no tune up, you know. Especially if you're active, you know, just go go back back in the boxing uh, training and um, get prepared for the for the fight. You know, you're facing a right hander. You fight been if you box a long time, you've been boxing right handers, you know, more than you've boxed left handers, you know. So you know you know just start making excuses and and. Um, just make the fight happen, you know, uh, for the fans. We want to see it. Um, I know I do. Uh, so, but that's all I got to say, man, about that. It was a decent fight. Um, I think Charlo, he could do better, work on some things, um, you know, to get his shots off a little bit better, like, you know, you know. but he did a good job with, with the Austin Trout style that he had, you know. Um uh, so, but that's all for me, uh, for Boxing Mind TV. Um, like, comment, subscribe, um, and uh, I'll see y'all later.